All right, today I'm gonna to talk about this Edge CTS2. I've got a 2017 F-150 with the uh, EcoBoost Max Tow Package. I use this truck about 50, 60,000 miles a year. Um, tow a lot with it, always hauling stuff. I wanted something I could monitor a lot of the different parameters that I'm not allowed to see down here. Also, I wanted to be able to correct the tire size. My tire size is just, I don't know, inch taller than stock, not much. So, I seen this product and thought, you know, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I've had it a year and a half now. Um, really haven't got it to work properly with the support of Edge, of course. Been through quite a bit with them. Uh, first of all, probably one of my, my biggest complaints is I can't drive 10 or 15 miles without getting the error code 2282, which is an air leak between the throttle body and the manifold. So I've contacted Edge several times on this. Uh, it was first thought to be a truck problem. Tried it on a co-worker's truck which was also a 17 with EcoBoost and exhibited the same problems on his as well. So I went back to Edge. We were able to um, connect the device to them. They pulled some data off of it. They sent me a new tune file. Uh, still didn't resolve the issue. So we, we've done that now I think three times and can't seem to get the problem fixed. Uh, we even went as far as they sent a new unit out identical to this one with a new cable and still couldn't resolve the issue. In the meantime, I tried it on a third 2017 F-150 with EcoBoost and it also had the same error codes. Uh, and I say codes because after the 2282, I would get, I believe it was 430 uh, catalyst uh, efficiency code uh, I'd ask Edge some some questions like you know this this is a popular vehicle there's a lot of them sold you know this should be something they've run across after you know almost a couple of years and could have resolved this they claim that they've not heard of this problem and have no record of it which I find strange because I'm three for three right I've tried three different vehicles and three different or, and, and all three different trucks have the same exact problem. Um, so that, that was my biggest complaint. Other things that, that bug me about it is, is the touch screen. So I can reach up here, like if I want to touch something, I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, it actually responded that time. It was delayed, but it responded. See, I had to touch that twice. I could hear the beep. So it's like it acknowledged that I touched, but it doesn't always respond. Not a big deal, but it kind of is when you pay $600 for a device. Uh, other things with the device uh, hooked up and a tune loaded in the vehicle. Um, the idle was very poor. The truck would start bucking and rocking once I put it in gear. This wasn't every time, but it was probably half the time. So that was, that was, you know, worrisome. I, I didn't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. So basically I've just been using this as a gauge and something to correct the speedometer for the past year and a half. Um, something else is the, the shifts. The, the, the shift points, shift pressure, that stuff seems okay, but sometimes it, it doesn't want to downshift. I'm coming to a stop. It might delay for 10, 15 seconds and then finally slam into a gear. You know, it, it'll jerk the truck around pretty good. Um, that issue was never resolved either. And I have tried, um, I always kept it on the tow tune, 
I'm just pretty conservative as far as that stuff goes, but I have tried their 91 octane, the 87 octane, the 93 octane tune. I get the same results out of all of them. And of course, I'm using the, the proper fuel when I'm using those tunes. Uh, another thing that I find kind of funny is their boost gauge is not always accurate. For one thing, it doesn't show the vacuum and boost. So if I were to unplug this while driving and plug it back in, it will be at zero even if the truck may be under boost, let's say five PSI when it turns on. So five is now the new zero. And so that's, you know, that wasn't good. I'm not sure if that's a calculated value or, or not. Another one is certain combinations of gauges will lock the device up. So if I was to select something like, I think one of them was the map sensor. Let me see, yeah, all right. So if I was to select this, and then maybe also if I was to select uh, the torque converter lock up if I wanted to be able to, to view that which was gauges that that I wanted to see and it is gauges that they offer probably can't tell I'm not gonna go drive it around right now while holding the camera I will put it in gear and and hit the gas here I should be building some boost. Map sensor should be showing something, but it does not. Um, now, the only way I've found to correct this is usually I have to do a reset on the unit. It may let me now, I'm not sure. I'll just pick something else, see if it'll let me get out of this. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. This thing. Well, I can get into engine load, but I can't get in. I can't get back into this one to change yet. So you get the point. This this thing's got a crappy touch screen. Boost gauge is not accurate all the time. And I mean, I can't even trust it now that what I know if it's accurate when I start it. Uh, if, if it turns on at engine startup, right? Um, gauges seem to lock up sometimes. It's got poor idle, poor shift quality, and error codes now on, on three different vehicles that are exactly the same. So the Edge support guys have been nice. They've been willing to work with me. Um, and I I want to say they've tried, right? You know, they, they've sent three different files for me, even replaced the unit, but there, there still seems to be something they can't get right. So in the end, they actually offered to me a replacement of a different kind. They were gonna, well, I, I was asking for my money back. I thought I'd go get a SCT or something like that. Um, however, they said because the unit was out of warranty, they wouldn't give my money back. And it didn't matter that the product hasn't worked since day one. And there's a history of them trying to fix it. They still wouldn't uh, give my money back. So instead, it, it was either be stuck with this thing, which is pretty worthless, or um, they offered to send out this this device here, the Diablo Sport Trinity T2. I didn't know this, but same company that makes the Edge makes this. So I'll be back in a little while and, and talk about that one. Thanks.